It's Nikki. So in today's video, I have a makeup haul for you all and I'm super excited. I got a ton of new makeup. I went, I got some stuff from Ulta in store and online and I also um, went to Beauty Brands. I have my bag right here. Beauty Brands near me um, was having 30 to 50% off the entire store because the location closest to me is closing. So I stocked up on all my beauty favorites and yeah let's go ahead and get into the haul. So I'm going to start with Ulta first. I'm just going to kind of grab and go and show you. So the first thing I got was a primer. Um, I did get quite a few more drugstore products because I want to kind of expand my variety of drugstore and high-end in my collection. So the first thing I got is this Flower Beauty, um, the In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. And it just looks like this. It has really pretty blue packaging on it. And this actually feels really nice. Um, I tried it out on my hand and it felt really good on my hand. So I'm excited to try this out on my face. The next primer I got is actually the primer I used in just my previous video that you would have seen before this in my like no makeup makeup look which is the look I'm wearing right now um I got this this is the LA Girl Pro Prep HD definition primer um so it's just a soothing face primer um I like to use this as like a pore filler instead of like an all over face primer um so yeah, I really like to use this as that, and I think that that feels really good on the skin. And also too, I have really big pores, and I like trying out different pore filling primers. So far it looks good with the makeup. Um, I'll keep you guys updated in other videos when I think of it after I wear it a couple more times. The next product is another product you saw me use in my video. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and this is in the shade C4. This is the one that looks similar to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and that's a dupe for it. I like the coverage of Tarte Shape Tape better, but I do think this is a really good drugstore option. It is full coverage, and it does hold up really well on my skin. Um, I do have to build it up a little bit more than Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't think that this is a bad concealer by any means. The next product I got is actually a foundation, and this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. And I have it in the shade um, Buff Beige. I've heard so much about this foundation, and I like how it's a ooh, it's a glass bottle, um, and it's got the nice pump to it. Um, you twist it; it has the lock on it, so you just twist it to open it. This, let me tell you, has a strong perfume scent. I like the foundation, and I like the coverage. It makes your skin honestly look really healthy and glowy. But God, it just it has a perfume fragrant smell that I, I mean, I don't really mind when makeup smells, but this is really strong and you can taste it. Like you can taste the perfume smell. And I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that, but I like the foundation, so I'm going to keep it. But the smell drives me bonkers. I don't know. You guys would have to smell it and see, but it has a very strong perfume set. I can't describe it. It's just super strong. The next product we got is a powder. You saw me use this in my last video as well. We're just using new products. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. This is in the shade Classic Ivory 120. Um, I am actually a shade darker than this, but they did not have my shade in store. They were sold out. Um, I did get this in store, um, but they were sold out of my shade, so I just figured I'd go a shade lighter instead of a shade darker because that would look a little bit better. I can just bronze rather than take away. The next thing I got were lashes. I got these online, um, and they're having a lash deal. It was buy two, get one free for Ardell, so I took advantage of that. These first ones are the Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies, um, so they just look like this in the packaging. They're really pretty, um, they're more thin and then they're more full on the outer corners, which I love for my lashes. I like how these ones kind of just have a flick to them. I think that it looks really, really pretty. The other ones I got, these are just the Ardell Studio Effects. These are just the Wispies. Um, so these don't have that extra flick to them. They're just wispy lashes all along from inner to outer corner that you can see. But yeah, these are really pretty. Um, these are kind of nice for more natural looks. 
um, and not something super smoky. This is just a nice day-to-day -day lash. These are the most dramatic lashes. I've actually already worn these. These are the Ardell Mega Volume um, Lashes in 250. So they are just super volumized. Um, I wore these the other day, but they look really pretty with um, a super smoky look or kind of more of a dramatic look. These are really pretty with that. The next thing I got is a contour palette. I talked about this kind of in my brow routine. This is around the time I got all this makeup. Um, so this is a collective haul. This isn't like all in one time. This is the Morphe Highlight and Contouring Palette in the shade 8H, the Hi-Fi contour I guess so this is dirty because I have been using the crap out of this but it just looks like this and you have a really big mirror to it um, but the shades just look like this and then you have the four highlighters it's really pretty I like using donut 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 yeah donut right here to contour and then all of these other shades to bronze and then the one in beam which is this one is my favorite highlighter this one and then this one down here is really pretty too this is a really pretty contouring palette um the shades blend really nicely on the skin i love the sleek packaging of this and i love the morphe logo so this is one of my favorites i love morphe products i know that a lot of people are like oh my god it's morphe you like morphe but i love morphe products um and I love the, uh, this is probably one of my favorite contouring palettes. And I bought a couple more to keep in my kit as well. Next two products I got are blushes. Um, I have not had this blush, so I needed to get it. This is the Milani Illuminoso blush. You guys have seen this so many times on YouTube. It's a cult favorite, but I didn't have it, which really surprises me because I love blush. And I don't know why I've just never purchased it. But I think whenever I've wanted it, it's been sold out. So I've just never gotten it. But this is really pretty. Um, I've swatched it and I've worn it already. And I just, I really like this blush. I can see why it's super popular. This is another blush I got. This is by LA Girl. Um, this blush I actually used in this tutorial. So you might recognize it. But this is in the shade Just Radiant. Um, it just looks like this. It's kind of more of a darker version of NARS Orgasm. And it does have that shimmer in there as well. But it's a really pretty blush. It works really nicely on the cheeks. It's really pigmented. And that's what, all that matters. The last thing I got is... <laughs> almost broke it. The last thing I got is one of my favorite setting mists of all time. I have used quite a few setting mists. And this one truly is my favorite. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Let me just like... So good this smells amazing this really blends your makeup into the skin I don't know what voodoo Morphe came up with in this setting spray but it's so good like it is so good it is just it melts your makeup I like to go powder heavy and like makeup heavy and cream heavy I just like to cake on the makeup and this makes my makeup look so freaking good I cannot tell you guys I don't know what like magic they put in this bottle but this is my favorite setting mist I like the how it's just the you see it the mist I like how it's just a mist and it's not an actual squirter so you can just go ham on your face so that was everything I got from Ulta let's move on to what we got at beauty brands the first two things I got are nail polishes um, I'll start off with the one I'm wearing right now um, the one I'm wearing right now is by OPI and it just looks like this obviously this is the color I have on my nails and this is in the shade can't find my shizek 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 book shizek book I don't really know how to pronounce this but it's a really pretty blue as you can see it's the one I'm wearing on my nails but it's a really pretty blue and I love this blue and it's just really pretty the next color I got this is an OPI nail polish as well this is a really pretty kind of darker mint green and this is in the shade my dog sled is a hybrid this that's a really weird name but I got this color um, and you might notice that all of them have the red kind of like scratch on the bottom it's because um, I got these at the store that's going out of business, so they're all final sale, which is fine because I wanted all of these products. Anyways, that's kind of why I got them. But yeah, so this just looks like this. It's really pretty. really like that one. The last one I got is an Essie polish. This is the nail polish I had um, 
in, co in a couple of my last videos um, where I had the gold on, this is this, this is in Essie, um, this is in Penny Talk. This one's a really popular shade, but it just looks like this. It's a really pretty gold, and yeah, I really like this one as well. I really like OPI and SD nail polishes. I have quite a few of them. I'm starting to paint my nails more. I went through a phase where I just didn't want to paint my nails, but we're painting them. And this is a really pretty gold. I'm not a fan of gold nail polish, but I think this is really pretty. Moving on to the makeup and fun stuff. The most exciting thing I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you about. So this is the Saint Tropez. I'm going to try this out. Um, because it is on sale, I gotta like shake it up. Um, this is on sale. It was on sale for I think 30% off. Um, and I honestly can't really tell you what they were because on my receipt it like didn't have like the sale price, but it showed up on the register, so I don't really know. This is the Saint Tropez, the natural healthy looking skin bronzing mousse. This is the self tanner and extra dark. I love to self tan or get spray tans. Um, I haven't self tanned in a hot minute i've been getting spray tans but even that i haven't gotten a spray tan in a hot minute i just have been lazy and haven't been feeling like it but i like being tan i got this um this is an extra dark like i said basically let me take this off so like i can actually read the bottle because i can't see between natural lighting and this plastic i just can like actually see the bottle better Nice one, Nikki. So this says, uh, this lightweight velvety mousse blends easily for your darkest, most natural looking tan. Its deep dyed color leaves a soft, smooth, flawless finish on the skin that ensures an even streak free tan that lasts for days and fades evenly. With our new quick intelligent tan development system, it can be rinsed off after just four hours for an intense dark bronze or after eight hours for your ultimate extra dark tan that will make you look like you've been on a two week beach vacation. I like the sound of that Saint Tropez. Yeah, so I like to leave all my self tanners on for up to eight hours. Um, a lot of people always wonder how people self tan. I kind of self tan like everyone else does. I'll shower, I'll exfoliate, make sure I'm good on the bate. Shower and time it out just right. So that way when I wake up in the morning, I can shower this off and I don't smell like self-tainer. But I'm really excited to try this out. I hope I don't look orange. That's the goal. But yeah, hopefully this works well for me because I don't want to be an orange girl. I can't be an orange lady. And then I also just got a tanning mitt. <laughs> this is the Vita Liberata tanning mitt. Um, I actually needed a new tanning mitt. I don't know where my other one went. Last time I self-tanned was in like November and I don't know if my mitt got old and I threw it away or I just can't find it. Yes, yeah, so you got the Vita Liberata and then you just got the mitt. Um, You just put it on like this, rub your bate like that. It almost looks like a little like muffin man like, or like a pup muffin man. Looks like a puppet. Hello. Got a new mitt because I needed a new mitt and Vita Liberata mitts. I usually get these, um, I buy them at Ulta, but since like they were having a sale, I got it on sale. Moving on to the makeup. A couple things I got. Um, I got a, I took advantage of the NYX section because um, everything was on sale and I like NYX. Um, so this is the NYX um, Pure White Slide On Glide On Stay On, definitely a turn on, waterproof, extreme shine eyeliner that's a really long name it's basically just a white eyeliner it blends in with like my top but um it's super perk it's super pigmented as you can see um but yeah i just got this to put in my waterline some looks just look better with a white eyeliner so that's why i decided to get this one also got two lip liners this is the slide on glide on lip liner and this is in the shade um Summer Tease. This is just a really pretty, like, orangey red. It just looks like this. This is a really pretty orangey red, and I'm starting to get into these colors more. I haven't gotten into them in a while because I've been scared to, and I love my nudes. I'm a nude gal. I'm a nude lady. But I want to get more into these colors because they're really fun. But I really need to whiten my teeth because I have really white teeth, and these make my teeth look really fucking yellow. Like, that's rude. They should not do that. But I need to really wipe my teeth if I'm going to wear these. But, um, 
yeah so I got just a bright fun color this next one I got is a really interesting color this is the slide on glide on lip liner as well and this is in the shade urban cafe there we go um so this just looks like oh that's pretty it's like a very rustic looking brown right here I don't really have like any lip colors well I probably do I don't really have too much lip colors that are this color but I think this would be really pretty to mix with like some darker nudes to kind of give it a different effect that's pretty I like it the next three things are glitters um, I'm not gonna undo all the packaging because I don't want to deal with that but these are the NYX glitter brilliance yeah these are what all of these are I got it in the shade what is this um I don't know um, this is in the shade copper so it's just a really pretty copper. I am going to take the plastic off. It's better. So freaking long. Come on. So this is in the shade copper. It just looks like this. It's just really pretty copper glitter that goes on your eyeballs. And I love glitter. Um, I love loose glitter. I also love, oh my God, it has a sifter. <gasps> NYX, you answered my glitter dream i have a couple of the mac ones and the ones that i have from mac don't have a sifter it makes us a sifter there's even a little plastic for oh my god thank you and then i also got it in a gold um color that you can see here and then i also got it in this is in crystal and it's just like a really pretty like white with that has like duochrome so these are really pretty. I can't wait to play with these and do some fun glitter looks. These next three things are lip products because I have an obsession with lip products. Um, so this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love these. I think these are so pretty and they are so comfortable, so wearable. I love these. And this is in the shade Rome. This is a really interesting color. I actually think this might go with that lip liner. It's a little dark. This is what that NYX liquid lipstick looks like. That is a beautiful color. I love that. It's like a beautiful berry brown, but it's not like, I don't know. I love that. It's like a beautiful berry brown, but it's nothing too crazy. I love this. This is such a pretty color. So I'm excited to wear this one. Next thing I got is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick. Look, man, Jaclyn Hill loves these, and I love Jaclyn Hill. So whatever Jackie likes, I like. This is one of a newer, sh I feel bad, because it's like a newer shade, and they're going out of business. Well, not not Smashbox, like beauty brands. Um, just that location. This is in the shade Got a Light, and it's just a very pale, light nude. I love my nudes. I'm a nude, I'm a nude lady, like I keep saying. That's really pretty. It's a really pretty brown nude. Um, this with like a fake tan is going to look beautiful. Um, it's like a really pretty nude. This looks a lot darker. on my, uh, Maybe it does look the same. I'm just going crazy. But that's a really pretty nude. That's my type of brown nude, okay? I love, love nudes and I love brown nudes. I'm not a pink or peach nude fan. So that's, that's my nudes. That's my nudes. Thank you, Smashbox. You have my nudes. This next one I got is by Bare Minerals. You guys can kind of see the color theme of lip products that I like. This is the Bare Minerals Gem Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color. I don't even think there's liquid lip in there. I think I just made that up. This is in the shade Boss. I really don't know what this color looks like because I couldn't really tell in store. Oh, it's just like my favorite nude. <laughs> Let's do a little swatch. Oh my god. Okay, you guys can like see a theme. This is what, okay, this in Rome. I did not plan this, but you guys can see this. So this is the um, Bare Minerals one in Boss, and this is Rome by NYX. Rome's more rusty, and this one's more kind of like more pink, but I love these colors as well. This is kind of like a MAC Whirl. Oh my god. Hold on. Something smells good. Oh my god. I'm going crazy. Do you guys have these liquid lips? This smells like fucking chocolate. Oh my god, I love it. Ooh. Oh girl, this smells like chocolate. Like chocolate chip cookies from the oven. Mm, yum. That is literally what this smells like. But this is a really pretty color. I love the frass, frasted, frosted bottle that it has to it. It's really pretty. The last thing I got, which is what I'm so excited for because I've been wanting to try this. This is the coconut version of the Smashbox 
primer water and I am so excited to try this because I've been wanting to try oh it smells so good it smells like coconut I've been wanting to try this version of this for so long but in every Ulta in every Sephora they're sold out of the coconut one because it was limited edition but beauty brands had it in the back and they were ready to get rid of it. So I took it. There was three left and I took one. So it just looks like this. If you guys, um, reason why I wanted this is because Casey Holmes loves this. And um, I also love Casey Holmes. And she is more oily. I am combo, so I like listening to her recommendations. And she really likes this. I like to use hydrating primers and smoothing primers. Hell, if I have to use five primers on my face... I will but it just looks like this and I'm so excited to use this because <laughs> dropping everything so excited to use this because I just something that just like spritz your face with and you're just like oh, let me try it I know it's not meant to go like over makeup but fuck it oh I sprayed that in my eyeball oh yeah that's a coconut dream. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup haul. I know it's quite a lot. This is collective, but I am a makeup artist and I love makeup. I just, I collect makeup. You know how collect, you know how some people like to collect like rocks and stamps and cars and clothes and shoes and bags. I like makeup. This is what I like to spend my money on. I love makeup and anything beauty related. So that is what I like to spend my money on besides like, you know. Rent. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Hence the swatch hand. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for new videos every week and to be notified when I upload. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.